Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Yep, we're here painting again and today we're going to do this. A shark painting. This is a picture I took when I went to uh, a uh, aquarium. Uh, not my local aquarium. <laughs> a big aquarium. You know, where they've got all kinds of fancy fish. And uh, it took me a few goes to get a decent photo, I have to say. <laughs> Because my camera isn't the best. Um, I was using uh, uh, not a very good lens as well, so <laughs> I realized how dark they are in those aquariums, so they're quite hard to get good pictures. But anyway, here it is, and uh, it's not a bad photo in the end. It's actually in focus, one of the ones that is in focus. And underneath, what we have is a drawing. Um, not a bad drawing, <laughs> not a good one either. What I did is um, I used my white pencil and a ruler and I just measured out places and uh, created dots kind of thing and then just joined the dots to try and make it as close to this as possible. So we might end up with a shark that's a bit fatter or <laughs> who knows, but it's about right. So uh, that'll do for me. And um, oh, new brush! Woohoo! It's always exciting getting new brushes. I was at a um, hobby craft, and uh, and uh, <laughs> I saw these uh, De La Rowney graduate brushes, and uh, a lot of my brushes are wearing out a bit. And I was like, ooh, they're pretty good. Not very much money. They were like two pound each, so I got a few. And I'm gonna try them out today, to see what they're like. And uh, paints, as always, you know me, I've become a bit of a uh, artisan water mixable oil fan. Um, simply because I only use water as a medium or linseed oil. So I'm not getting any fumes in the studio. No fumes. Happy adjacent. And a happy adjacent means a Jason that'll do paintings. <laughs> a Marty, miserable Jason doesn't do any paintings. He thinks about doing paintings. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, why am I showing you this? I don't know anymore. Put my palette like this, and I don't like it. I'm going to move this. Whoops! Using the uh, the Barbras detail knife. I was actually thinking uh, while I was setting my paints up. I was like, I wonder if I could do a mountain using these paintings using the uh, same style. And uh, because he always says that you just need a dry paint, and it made me think. Hmm. Maybe. I know the paints are not the same, so it might be harder. But it just got me thinking, really. Uh, do, 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 do. I've moved my bin. Oh, here it is. Right, that's better. So then I've got an area to work. Right. So where do you start when you get a reference picture? I mean, I'm doing this the same way I do commissions. So if you're getting uh, commissions, this is how I would start. I'm not saying this is the way, this is just the way I do it. I, uh, I, I print the picture out that I'm gonna paint and I laminate it. Then I stick it to a board or canvas that's exactly the same size of the one I'm gonna do the picture on. So that way I can measure it and it should be quite accurate. I mean, <sighs> accurate enough anyway to get started. I've tried doing paintings just straight on canvases of dogs and all sorts, really, <laughs> mainly dogs, uh, straight on the canvas to see if it works. And uh, I can do it, but it takes longer. And time is of the essence for commissions, really. You, you don't want to be messing around too much but sometimes 
nah, sometimes it never works. <laughs> it always works better drawing it first for me. I always think, ah, oh, I'll try it this time without drawing it. But it always takes me longer, so I don't know why I keep trying it. <laughs> Maybe I think, oh, I've done another painting, I'm better now. I could do it, but no. Nah. <laughs> the drawing helps. Okay, so enough talk, and let's start painting. And first thing I want to do, really, I think I'm going to head for the dark first. I'm going to go for this. I mean, it's not, it's mostly black, really. So, because that way, is this brush too big? No, it's not too bad, actually, for this. It's about right. If I use my tiny brushes, then it, it's going to be uh, <laughs> a very long lesson. So, uh, let's get some black. And blue, black and blue, black and blue. A little bit of black, a little bit of blue. I don't want to just use black. I want to give it a blueness because we're doing a shock in the water. And I quite like the blue on this, it's really nice. So, dark. Uh, by the way, I'm using board. I'm using a uh, piece of MDF that I have uh, gessoed with a bit of black and white gesso together to make the grey gesso. And just want to do a bit of a finer movement there. What I do generally is uh, when I'm loose, I hold the brush quite far away like this so I can see what I'm doing easier I can see everything I'm not blocking uh, my view I can see when I when I pull the brush away you know I can see and my hands not in the way but if you paint like this you can't see stuff as well but you've got a bit more um, accuracy with your strokes so you I kind of go in between. I try and do uh, go further away from the picture on my brush so I can see things because especially when you're doing a bit of copying, you want to be able to see it, don't you? So, uh, as I'm filling this in, I tell you a story. <laughs> story time with Jason. Story time with Jason. <laughs> yeah. What I've been um, thinking about recently is uh, the fickle world of the art world and uh, I don't just mean the art world as in uh, just painting, I mean the arts in general it's such a fickle world of ideas and uh, there's a lot of right ideas in the mind of the person that's thinking but there's a lot of ideas that don't suit you. So you have to, when uh, someone's giving you advice in the art world, in anything really actually, not just the art world, you have to think about it and think, does it, is that going to help you? Is that advice helpful? because some people give you advice and it's not helpful it's counterproductive <laughs> and I've been going through that a little bit recently getting uh, counterproductive advice 
knowing that it's wrong. Well, not wrong. <laughs> not wrong, actually. Well, I said that. I said that wrong myself. Not wrong advice. Just not suitable advice for me. In the arts, it's tricky though. So, what am I doing? What am I doing? The reason I've uh, left this picture here is so I can see it ne next to each other. Um, I do this quite a lot. I start, I start moving what I'm drawing around. I like uh, say if I've left it to dry, I'll put them right next to each other and check to see if it's right, or I'll move it away. And we could have one shark chasing another. Uh. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. I'll try not to be too much of a kid. <laughs> when I went in the art shop, uh, I was so excited. <laughs> it's quite funny actually, when I was buying the brushes, I was so excited about the brushes and I mentioned it to the uh, cashier. I was like, oh yes, these brushes, they're pretty good. And the more expensive ones are about the same. Uh, and uh, <laughs> she didn't like that comment at all. They're probably not the same. These are uh, synthet more synthetic, I would say. I didn't really look. I just, I just felt the brush going bing, bing, bing. And I was like, oh, they feel all right. That'll do me. So I've got some crimson, a lizard and crimson, and I'm using the ultramarine blue. I'm going to make a, uh, oops, <laughs> not that blue. I mean, not that purple. I want to make a, a reddish blue, uh, um, uh, to the blue side for this area. It's only minor, but I can see a touch of red in it. I mean, obviously I'm going real dark there. So let's get a bit of white in there. It's only minor. So it, it might end up more um, lavender than what that is. Let me just move this brush out of the way. I could do with one of those brush holders. Ooh, I've got a pot there. I found this pot in amongst my uh, stuff of uh, making your own oil paint stuff. I had a load of pigments and things and I was going to start making paints, see what I can come up with. But I decided against it in the end and I lobbed it all away. <laughs> there was only, it was only like um, little bits of pigment. And because if I spend time making paints, when am I going to get time to do paintings? I'll never do a painting. I'll always be making paints. And that's no good. I'll let the professionals make the paints. I'll just do the paintings. And I'm quite happy with these paints. The only thing that I would like is to be able to thicken them up. And I got some, uh, I'll show you, impasto medium to thicken the paints up. And it does work a bit, but I don't know. Sometimes I just want the paint to be extra thick. I might get a little bit of this cerulean, some cerulean blue here. I've got two blues on the go. My cold and my warm. And i got lemon yellow down here and some black there. I'm trying this different way of thinking. I mean, I've always thought warm and cold colours, but I'm trying to do it more. I quite like that colour. It's not the same, but I think I prefer it because it's a bit warmer for the top. So I'm going to put it in anyway. I'm going to make a decision and just do it. And if it doesn't work, I can just throw more blue into it. Sit back. Have a look. I'm gonna grab a bit more blue actually. It's 
Yeah, that colour is actually more turquoisey than anything. So I might I quite like this colour though. See, I do go through these <laughs> these stages of like I'm, I, I say to myself, you know, I'm going to mix. I do do it um, when I'm doing commissions. I'm more strict than myself. Is a that I'll uh, I'll mix colour exact to uh, the photo, or if I'm doing something from life, I'll hold my brush next to whatever it is, so I get the picture exact and uh, the colours exact. Sorry. But um, when I'm uh, experimenting, I don't do it quite so strict. I just sort of play with the colour and go and ask myself, do I like it or not? Because that's quite bright. Let's get some more of the cerulean in there. I don't want this colour. I want cerulean blue. A touch of white. Yes. Let's move the shark back a bit. So I'm just sort of looking. I want to start blocking this in a bit more so I can uh, see what we've got. Ooh, I like this. Needs a bit more of the blue. I like that actually. Some blue here as well. I like this as well. I like this blue. I know it's not the same as that, but I do like it. Some blue there, some blue there, and there. That needs to be a bit lighter there. This underneath. Gonna be trickier. Yeah, I think a tiny bit of black in with the blue would work. Yeah. Mm, let's just go for it. We can always lighten it. If we're not putting tons of paint on, you can do that. You can lighten things. If you put a load of paint on really thickly, you struggle then to change things and you can lose a bit of control. We want to try and keep the control so don't put the paint on too thick to start with. It's a little tip for you. <laughs> Gone into a touch more white just to get that there. Go there. And then we've got here, we've got the mouth. Underneath. Big shark. my camera then. <laughs> I think we need to uh, get a bit of dark in there. Let's use another brush so I'm not like uh, cleaning brushes all the time. Not that I really do that much. <laughs> I, I buy more brushes just so I don't have to clean them. Because I want to spend my time painting. 
I don't want to spend it cleaning brushes. I actually wash my brushes in fairy liquid at the moment. Seems to work quite nicely. There's a nice shape there. Let's use this in with this colour. There's a nice shape there as well. Some of this. Hmm, needs to be darker. Let's go into the darkness here. Into the darkness as always. to soften eventually. Let's get the eye in. Whoa, dropping a brush. <coughs> get that shark eye in. We've got a better chance getting things right, I think. Once the eye is in. Once the eye is in, then uh, we are on the ball and I do that. <laughs> it's another thing that I do. Sort of, uh, it's like a trial go at doing it. <laughs> going like this and going whoop, whoop. Okay, this brush is a bit um, funny. It's a bit of a curl on the end of it, I don't like that. It's because I've been having it stand in water, ruining it. There we go. That's better, that's better. I like that, I like that. Okay, let's get some of this blue and get a bit of white. Highlight here it goes around the eye. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think I should uh, mention uh, if you wanted to do an exact replica, spend more time mixing your colours so you get it exact. Um, I think you know what I'm like. I'm a little bit uh, just throw paint on a lot of the time. Just have fun with it. I like to feel like. Uh, I like to feel loose in my picture when I'm doing it and that's uh, when you do commissions you've got to be really strict with yourself and I get a little bit um, I get that feeling like I can't um, just let loose <laughs> let loose on the canvas and just go for it Just need to create this shape here. Make sure it's about right. Get a little bit of this uh, blue and black, black and blue, blue and black. About there. I 
<laughs> I've been wanting to do a painting of a shark for a while actually. Uh, one of my first paintings ever was a shark I did in acrylics and uh, it was awful. <laughs> uh, that was because when uh, I got my set of paints I thought I was going to be awesome, instant awesomeness. I thought I read stories about people just uh, being brilliant at stuff and I thought that was me, I, that's going to happen for me, I'll pick up the paints and I'm going to be brilliant and uh, mm, yeah, <laughs> no, it didn't quite work out that way, just means I got to work at it more, because I'm not really a, a uh, I'm not an instant painter, I don't have instant skills, I've got to uh, hone them, and uh, like most people really. Some people have an ability to see better than others, so they're able to do their drawings better as well, I suppose. Okay, I think it would help if I blacked out some of the area, would um, help with my colouring. But uh, I don't want to do that yet. So if I start throwing black on here, then uh, um, there's an area where I won't be able to touch. <laughs> and then I'll end up getting black all over. I wanted a bit more cerulean blue. Better. I was just thinking that this looked a bit bright, really. So, just darken it a bit. Add a little bit of light there. It's a bit too much, that. Well, not just a bit lot too much. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's dull this down again. Going in between, in betwixt, in between. Shark muscle wire. The eye. We can put in. So I'm calling quite thinly there with paint. I'll uh, I'll use my um, smoothing brush soon as well. So I want brightness to sort of finish about there. I need to uh, dull the colour a little bit for under here. blue to brighten the colour a bit. Sit back, 
back, have a look. Oh, I'm thinking, uh, is this, is this my shark now? Is this my shark or is this the shark on the picture? So I want it to be both. I want it to have my uh, oh, yeah, that the. I'm gonna get some black. All right, what brush can I use? Don't want to use too big a brush. I'm gonna use this filbert brush. Gonna start uh, giving myself some black outline. It, it's gonna help me because uh, I can, it gives me a better idea of the whole picture, then you see. Something I didn't do when uh, I first started, I didn't used to look at uh, the background. When I was doing um, things such as this, I would never paint in the background. I would just finish the painting and then paint in the background. And then what would happen is everything wouldn't look right <laughs> because I've not compared what I was painting with what's behind it and you really need to work as a whole you need to uh, work your painting as a whole painting not as painting as a, a section sort of thing it needs to come together I hope that makes sense <laughs> Yeah, because I'm not black now, I can look and go which areas are not dark enough. Because now I feel this isn't dark enough. And if I didn't have that black in there, probably would have just accepted what's here. And then I'd have finished it and I'd have put this black on and I'd have gone, oh, well, that's not dark enough. <laughs> got my timer going again just so uh, I don't miss any of the recording because my camera shuts off after 45 minutes I just wanted to uh, improve the quality of the videos but it comes as a cost so that's got a nice soft edge now and I can make a decision whether I uh, to darken things further if I want. This sort of loses uh, itself. This uh, fin dis disappears into the darkness, doesn't it? I think maybe, maybe that's too reddish blue, I don't know. I kind of like it, it's tricky, you know. <laughs> it's tricky because I don't want to uh, destroy it because I like it, but I'm also thinking to tone it away a little bit. Let's just do the top. Grab a little bit of that light blue. 
blue because I think it's not there. Okay, sitting away from it, having a look. What we like, what we don't like. Working it out. Not that keen on this area. I think it's a bit too uh, light, to be honest. I think what I'll do is I'm not going to jump the gun. Move that back a bit. I'll uh, put the fin in and then we can have another look, can't we? We can work it out. The scariest part of the shark. The fin. <laughs> no, that's not true, is it? The scariest part of the shark, but it's jaws. where the film got the name from. I'm just humming a song that I made up. <laughs> There we go. Get a bit of black there as well. Black there. Black there. Black here. Darkness. That's what we like. Smoothness. Smooth. And dark. Smooth. Someone said I've got a smooth voice. <laughs> Good compliment. Yeah. I doubt they would say that about my singing voice, though. <laughs> it ain't so smooth. I would say it's more. Uh, um, what's the word for tone deaf? <laughs> Well, actually, if you saw uh, the episode where I did do a bit of singing, and then you'll know what I mean. Oops! Holy moly, that's bright. God, that was bright, wasn't it? It's all right, though. If you do do that, you can just wipe it out. Give it a wipe. It's oils, it doesn't matter, does it? Do what you like. If it goes wrong, get the knife, whip the whole thing off. <laughs> and start again. And I've done that before. I still like this colour. Uh, I just like it. I don't know why. I just like it. It's not right. But it ain't wrong either. Yeah, dark bit there. I'm gonna start moving on this picture now. Now now I've started it. <laughs> now I've started it. I'm gonna get going on it. I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna do it. Do it, do the painting. Gonna do it, do some more. <laughs> uh, do it sexy. <laughs> Name the movie. Okay. I'm a movie geek, you know. I love movies and TV shows. So it can be a bit dangerous though because you can 
spend too much time watching movies and TV shows when you could be learning and painting. And I always have to tell myself this. And I say, well, I'll just watch the first half. <laughs> or uh, I'll just watch this one, just watch this, this episode and then uh, I'll uh, then I'll do some painting oh. and then the episode's really exciting and you're like oh I can't I can't stop watching this series now I need to watch the next one so you start watching the next one okay how's that looking It's looking all right, isn't it? I could do with some uh, oh, same colour. <laughs> I can say I could do with some darker strokes here, like there. Is that too dark? Mm, mm, maybe. Let's get rid of it a little bit. You just by moving it. Colour's perfect for this area. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. What do we get? We get this. Is it okay? Eh, it's alright. That'll do. I actually quite like it. I like the one. I can't even speak. I like the warmness of it. Mm hmm. Okay. Could do with this fin putting in actually. It's uh, right here. A bit of that colour. And then. So that's there, we need to uh, help it stand out by going like this, dark in it, dark here as well. too bad is it? I quite like that bit of, it's just a touch of red though and it's not loads of red. That needs to be darker there because there's a thing, something there. <laughs> don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. Something attached to the uh, to the fin. Something attached to the fin. I'm trying to be uh, loose in this area. Loose. What's all this loose talk anyway? <laughs> Why do I try and be loose when I do paintings? It's a, it's a weird thing and um, how do I explain it? How did I get it explained to me? I think I'll think about it. Is this painter um, way better than me. Of course, way more experienced than me. So, 
you'd have expected it would be way better and he said he said to me that he uh, managed to do paintings with less strokes and he said that he used to uh, teach himself to do less brush marks in a picture and he said that the less brush marks he did the better his picture became and uh, the better his paintings became I should say and I remember that golden nugget of information less is more more is less oh no that's more or less <laughs> I need to move the shark a bit oh no he's masking taped on I masking taped my board on so he doesn't move Move him up. I'll move the image up as well, just so you can still see how long have I been painting? Quite a while. Hope you're not getting bored. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna go into overdrive. No, I think uh, you're used to my pace these days. See, I, I can do a painting really fast. <laughs> I don't mean that in a I'm awesome way. Uh, it's just something that I've been able to do. But it's all right doing it fast, isn't it? But you're not going to get the detail that you need. You're not going to get what you need in the picture. Because basically you're putting information down on a canvas. <laughs> Strangely enough. This paint, this is information for the brain to uh, work out what it is. And the, the brain is one clever bunny and uh, the brain knows when it's being fooled, well, mostly when it's being fooled, or when something isn't quite right, especially faces, which is why if you're doing portraits uh, and you mess it up, good luck, because the brain will see it straight away which of course means everybody will see it straight away. Here's me talking about the brain again. <laughs> mm. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? The way the brain works. some dark, some really dark colour. We might have to come in with uh, Something different. Something in black there. Just use this area to work it out. That should finish here. Okay. Uh, a bit there, too, too 
save, right? I'm just using angle now. Uh, I'm sort of working things out using angles. looking at these shapes of the uh, the muscles of the shark thrown in colour sitting back having a look seeing if it's right black there Okay, let's sit back, have a look, see what I've got. See which areas need darkening like this. Have a look again. It's the uh, the best way to do it. Sit back, have a look. Sit back, have a look. not found a better way. Okay. And again, of course, there's no better way than sitting back and having a look. How else are you supposed to do it? <laughs> Let's work on this bit here. I'm going to put a line there. Holding loads of brushes again. Put some away. Okay. Hold a light one and a dark one, that's alright. What I want is some black. I want to emphasize this area here. So Finger just to smooth it. That was quite good actually. I amaze myself sometimes. It's not perfect, of course, it never is. Well, it's it can be close. I've had <laughs> I'm actually, I did this dog the other day and oof, it was it was really good. <laughs> like really um like like the picture, almost the same. I mean, I did spend a, a while on it. It was one of those moments where I had a look at it and I was like, wow, did I paint that? I didn't get many of those moments, so I enjoyed it. <laughs> Just using the other color just to soften that a bit. feel like the rest of this needs darkening a bit here. I'll do. Don't want to go too crazy there. I need some black along here, along this fin. Let's go again. 
Okay. A bit of light on it. Underneath it. Okay. I kind of lost that light. I need to put it back in somehow. A bit of colour again. can disappear there. Yeah, that's all right. That's not too bad. I need a bit of light here as well, which is there. So it's sort of here. Sit back, have a look. Have a look, have a look. Changing it if we need to. I need some dark here. Do a little bit more on the um, cerulean blue to throw on there. Let's have a look at that. It's time. Just looking at the time. Nearly an hour. Nearly an hour. So if I spend another. 20 minutes, I'll, uh, that's what I'll give myself, and then uh, should have come together a little bit more. Just going with a cerulean blue, straight out of the tube, with my uh, Dirty brush. It's a little fin here. It's a bit of a fin there as well. Put a bit of blue in there. I need some underside. Sharp colour there. So bring those two together a bit. Get a bit of blue in my black again. Black and blue, blue and black. Get a bit dark there. I can uh, refine that area a bit more. Looking at this angle of the shark here, it goes cuts across there. And then we've got that little cut now where the fin is. 
That works quite good. I want to uh, soften this edge, so with a brush with the black on, just go over it like that. And then uh, for the other edge, I want it to be a bit more sharp. So. wiggle a little bit of a thingy that um, thing there bit of a thing hanging off so let's uh, that's too bright really disaster disaster let's do it a bit light uh, can we see that? I can just see it. You can only just see it on the picture as well. I think I'm going to leave it. I don't really need to bring the attention of the viewer to it because why, why would you why would you need to look at that <laughs> let's just dull this down a bit make it so it's there but not too bright got this bit here needs working on a bit more there's a bit of a, a sparkle of light here and here and that will create that sharpness I might use this light Actually, come to think of it, as our separator for this fin. I think we can get a bit more on it. With the black. Kind of works. There's a bit of light here as well. You can just see. That's more like there, isn't it? back having a look looking at the whole picture wondering where did it all go wrong <laughs> no it's not too bad is it it's came out okay And a bit of light here. I 
can really sort of exaggerate areas if I wish. Like a bit of light there. And there. There's a bit of blue in it, it's not pure white. I need to, um, I want to do something with the eye of the shark. I want to do something with this as well, actually. Let's just soften that. Okay, that's better. Okay. Sitting back, having a look. I think the eye is a bit too small on mine. So these are the things where you start having to, um, to really look at your picture and, uh, and really, uh, think it's the the dark bits all right but there's a little bit of a a light bit that's around it before the highlight bit that's worked better it's not perfect but just that bit is better And like a bit of dark. See, it's, you can keep going with these pictures though. I don't want you to think that what I've done here, that's it, you don't have to do anymore. You can keep going, uh, depends what you want to achieve, really. Every now and then I start, I always see more, you know, I always think, well, I could put a bit more dark blue there, like I've just done, and that could make it pop out a bit better, send the uh, fin back a bit, make it look like there's a the thickness of this shark. And then uh, I can start using brush strokes like here. Shape. Create shape and form using the brush strokes as well. Things develop further improvements that you can make you make them but I think this uh, gives you a good idea of how to get started on a shark at least it's my uh, interpretation of a shark using reference See that dark bit there? I felt like it needed to come in. There's a bit of a... And then I can use my other colour just to... Uh, modify things a bit. This gives you an idea. I've got some yellow here. I don't think I'm going to use it. I've got some lemon yellow out ready because I thought I might need to use a bit of yellow. If I use yellow, what's it going to do? How's it going to improve things? 
you could have maybe a little bit of stuff. Maybe that thing could have a bit of green in it. All these decisions, you know, it's what you've got to make. I'm not going to use any yellow. I think we'll uh, call this one finished for now. It's one that you could do. A bit of practice, no problem for you. And i uh, just say thanks very much for watching this one. And I'll... Uh, See you at another painting. Cheers, bye.